In this video, you're about to learn how to make sonic ice at home using the science of crystallization and aeration, which just basically means, you know, adding air to crystals. I don't know why science make words longer than a night in jail. Like the fuck? And please give me and my eyelash the privacy we need right now. Focus on this ice. In 2024, pretty much everybody has one of these machines. But none of us big back shoe racks know why or even how this thing works. Soft ice and air go hand in hand like we praying. Let's say we have an ice tray. If we freeze carbonated water, any form of tap water, and aerated water inside of this ice tray, we're gonna get three different results. I know you know what tap water is, and I know you know what carbonated water is, but what is aerated water? If you were to take tap water and you whisk it vigorously before freezing, you're gonna add air to the water. Since you just added air to the water, the water is now, say it with me class, still tap water ain't nothing changed. Aerated. Get, get out of my classroom. Go home for the rest of the year. I'll go to jail for your mama. I'm freezing all three types so we can see the difference in the hardness of the ice when we add air to water before freezing it. And I like that this one has a lid so there will be minimal air bubbles escaping. In order to understand what's going on in the freezer, we could use a sponge as an example. Every single item that you have is made up of atoms. When these atoms join together, they create crystals. A sponge, for example, has crystal formations that has been interrupted by air pockets. But if I was to fill these air pockets with water, and freeze it, it becomes hard and rigid. When crystals are able to form with no interruption from air, they form tightly compacted material. When we whisk or blend water, we add in air. When we use carbonated water, it's already filled with a lot of air. This is regular tap water, this is carbonated water, and this is aerated water. I know it's hard to tell on camera, but the carbonated water is definitely the softest of the three. You couldn't even see the air pocket. And no, it does not have any of its carbonation anymore. Just tastes like water. Look, you could just tell there's way more air pockets between the crystal structures of this ice versus this one. Okay, let's do a drop test. Tap water with no aeration. Perfectly fine, didn't break. Carbonated slash aerated water. Broke into various pieces across the floor here. These ice machines work by adding air to your tap water before it freezes it. It also works by avoiding telling you that you could just do this yourself. Congrats, you've been scammoted. This machine does add air to ice, but it also uses a layering effect that adds to the softness. So if you was to let carbonated water sit for just a little while to knock some of the carbonation out because you don't want to damage the machine, and instead of tap water, pour in carbonated water into the machine. When it's done being made, guess what you'll have? The closest thing you could ever get to sign up, guys. All made at home. Thank you later. And go get your iron chest. Now.